In this video, I'll go over how to migrate Docker containers from one Synology NAS to another. And here is the setup that I'll be working on. I have a DS220 Plus running LinkedIn and Vault Warden, where Vault Warden is using the Caddy web server, and both are spun up through a Docker Compose YAML file. I'll migrate those Docker containers to another Synology NAS, my DS718 Plus, which currently has no Docker containers running. Also, just to confirm that actual data is being migrated over, I've added a few bookmarks to LinkedIn and some passwords to Vault Morden where they are currently running on my DS220+. Now, to begin the migration process, I'll stop the running containers on the DS220+. LinkedIn can be stopped from the Docker UI, so I'll do that here. Whereas Vault Warden and Caddy need to be stopped using the command line with the docker compose down command. I'll also confirm that both containers aren't running by refreshing the tabs for each container's web interface that were open earlier. We can see that neither is running. Next, I'll need to migrate the directories that hold the persistent data for the containers to the DS718+. And while not obvious, the NASes are on two separate remote networks, and I'm using TailScale to be able to connect to both systems. For migrating the directories, there are a few options, but for my setup, I'll be using Synology's snapshot replication package, along with TailScale, configured with outbound connections, which I've set up on both Synology NASes. I won't go through the TailScale configuration steps that I went through here, but I do cover the details in this video you see listed here on screen, and which I'll link to in the description below. I've also created a replication task on the DS220 Plus that will sync the local Docker directory to the Docker-1 directory on the DS718 Plus. I'll run the replication task by selecting Action, then Sync, and confirm that I'd like to sync now from this window by clicking OK. The Docker directory is tiny, so the replication task just takes a few seconds to complete. Next, I have an SSH session to my DS718 Plus, and I'll change into the slash volume one slash docker dash one directory, which is the directory that the replication task synced the Docker directory into in the previous step. If I do a ls, we can see the directories for the containers that are being migrated over. What I'll do next is move those directories into the slash volume one slash Docker directory, which is the directory that would normally be set up for Docker containers when installing the Docker package on a Synology NAS. Next, I'll CD into the slash volume one slash Docker directory, then CD again into the Synology dash private dash Vault Warden directory. For Vault Warden and Caddy, those containers are spun up using Docker Compose, so to get those running again, I'll issue this Docker Compose command. Note that I ran through these steps before recording this video, so the images for the containers were already pulled down to my DS718+. For your setup, you'll likely see additional output from the Docker Compose command pulling down the images that are needed for the containers. Now I'll bring up Docker on my DS718 Plus, and if we switch to the container listing, we can see that the Vault Warden and Caddy containers are up and running. To complete this specific migration, I'll update the IP address associated with Vault Warden set up through DuckDNS from the internal IP address of my DS220 Plus to the internal IP address of my DS718 Plus. I'll then reload Vault Warden from the tab that was open earlier, and we can see that it loaded successfully. I'll also log in to check if the passwords are still there, and they are, which confirms a successful migration. For the LinkedIn container, it was originally set up through the Docker user interface. So to migrate it over to my DS718+, I'll need to first bring up Docker on my DS220+, Select the container listing, then click on the LinkedIn container. Then select settings and click on the export option. On this export window, 
Under Destination, I'll select the option to export to local computer, then click on the Export button. Now I'll switch over to my DS718 Plus, and I'll first download the image that the LinkedIn container will be using from the registry listing. Once downloaded, I'll select the container listing, then select Settings, then Import. I'll upload the file that was exported from my DS220 Plus earlier, then click Select to complete the import. Now I'll start the LinkedIn container, then bring up the browser tab where LinkedIn was loaded earlier and change the IP address to the one that is assigned to my DS718 Plus, and we can see that LinkedIn is up and running. I'll log in to check that the bookmarks are still there, which they are, confirming that this migration is successful as well. For further details on doing Docker container migrations to a new Synology NAS, check out this forum post that I found informative, which I'll link to in the description below. Also, if you would like to learn more about how I set up remote replications through Tailscale, check out my Tailscale playlist and specifically this video on setting up outbound connections. Lastly, if you would like to support my work, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.